YouTube, what is good? Welcome back to a brand new tutorial. It's your boy Jacob from Tiny Tapes here, and today I'm bringing you guys a banger video. Today we're going to be going over how you can turn this into this using the Dehancer plugin for After Effects Premiere Pro DaVinci Resolve. If you guys have been looking to get the film look on your footage, this is the way to do it. It's the most accurate look. It honestly looks like real film. It's crazy. If you guys want to go get yourself 10% off, use code TINYTAPES when you guys check out. So we're going to go over to Effects and we're going to drag and drop Dehancer Pro on the footage. And as you can see, you're not really getting anything. You got to go and you got to tweak a few things. First off, we're going to go over to Input. We're going to start here. We're going to go to Source and we're going to go to Choose Camera. Now I shot this video on a Sony A7S III and we're going to find the camera that that we're using you have tons of options here black magic canon you have drones cgi so we're going to go down and find sony a7s3 right here and boom once it is on there we're going to go down to the next setting and you guys can just scroll on top of here to look for the look that you guys want all right now once you guys find the one that you want go down to film grain go to the very bottom hit enable this is going to be giving you guys that film grain you can kind of see it i don't know if you guys can see through this tutorial uh, you can turn the amount up you can turn the size up what i like to do is put it at 10 just so it's sort of there but it's not too much close the film grain tab there halation you guys don't know what halation is it's going to be kind of like the red lines around certain areas so you can kind of see it in his hoodie there let me just turn it up so you guys really get the idea of it so as you can see that's what the halation does on and off i recommend having the global diffusion at 100 and the local diffusion at around 20 or 15 i think it gives a really cool look to it and if you guys want to change the color of it you guys can go over to the hue and change it to whatever you want so that's more of a yellow there and then you bring it down to zero more of a red totally up to you guys on how you want to work that out and then we're going to go over to bloom what bloom does is it's kind of like the light that wraps around the subject so pay attention to the waves here pay attention to his hoodie we're going to turn bloom on and as you can see it kind of wraps around a little bit more leave that the way it is we're going to go all the way back up to our input right here and we're going to play with this a little bit so let's turn the exposure comp down holding control just to get it more accurate i like that there let's turn the temperature up i really like my footage warm and then the tint let's make it green just like so and then we can turn the exposure up a little bit more i think that looks good there and now that you have all this on here you guys can actually go back into film and then play around with the LUTs. all your other settings are still going to be applied see so yeah, i like this one a little bit more than before that looks pretty good there too even without the profile on let's go back to the very top and just scroll through and find a profile that you guys like i think this one looks really good here and if you guys want to add a little vignette onto your footage hit enable down here and then you guys can play with the exposure the size all that stuff the feather pretty simple now this is just the settings i like to play with but if you guys go down here you can actually generate your own LUTs in here and there's a bunch of other stuff that you guys can mess around with i really just mess around with the main stuff that i showed you guys but here is the after and then the before, as you can see, it really gives you that film look super crazy. On our next piece of footage, another cached on me clip from a music video, we're gonna control V and paste that on there. As you can see, immediately look at that difference there, it looks insane. Now you guys can tweak it a little bit more and then you guys can go in and change your LUT around. They got some nice black and whites here. I like the way this one's looking here. And then let's go down to our halation and let's amplify it a little bit. See, we get the glowing areas. Turn that on and off for you guys. Look at his hand right here. Pay attention to this right here. Looking crazy. It might be a little bit too much. And then we can turn the global diffusion down to 50. Bring that down a little bit. And boom. Looks good there. And then if you guys want the hue to be more yellow, remember, drag it up. I like it as red. And boom, that looks crazy there. Can go and turn that on and off for you guys. And if you guys like the way a certain LUT looks, once again, you guys can go down to the LUT generator and export your LUT here. I recommend putting it on normal. All right, moving on to the next one. I already have a dehancer thing on here but I think we can make it a little bit better. So let's paste the one we just had on. I'm gonna turn up the temperature, make it super warm, and then let's make it super green. I like the look of that right there. And let's try these Fuji Pro ones. I think that looks crazy. Let's go down to the halation. Let's amplify the halation all the way. See his fingers there, and then turn the hue up so we get that yellow, or you guys can turn it down so you get that red color. So his fingers there, and this is without it. And with it, crazy, looking amazing. Next one here, same footage, just a couple seconds later. Let's copy it, paste it, boom, that looks crazy. If you guys want, you can go back into the camera and play with the exposure comp. Next clip, we got the gunner from the Hold It Back video. Let's paste this one on here. As you can see, there's a lot of stuff we have to fix with this one. So let's play with the exposure comp there. Go down to halation, turn the amplify to 50, and let's turn that hue to yellow, maybe not to yellow. Let's turn that hue to 50%. Local diffusion to 60. So we still have it in some parts, but it's not overwhelming. And let's go back through the LUTs here and find one we really like. This one's kind of cool. All right, now boom, this is with it, without it. 
huge difference as you guys can see looks absolutely insane loving the colors on it if you guys want to go cop the answer it will be linked in the description below use tiny tapes for 10 percent off thank you guys so much for watching i'll catch you guys in the next one